Meditation shapes us. It makes us strong, but keeps us flexible. As fluid as thought itself, as invisible as the night. Is there something troubling you, Rostev? Apologies, Master, but how can we reach a state of meditation when... That is, your voice can be very distracting. Because you're listening to the voice and not the thoughts behind it. To be en la choc, you must be able to go inside under all circumstances, even waiting to go into battle. without falling asleep. Anyone can meditate in silence. That is hardly a challenge worthy of a ranger. A challenge is to stand alone, unarmed, prepared to die. I would hardly say sitting and thinking is a challenge. True. You do seem to have the sitting part down to an art, so I suppose there's hope. As for thinking, well, uh, Let's leave that for the advanced classes. We shouldn't expect too much of you at once. We'll worry about thinking once we've cleared away all that warrior caste nonsense. Nonsense, Sectorval? Apologies. The choice of words... Was unfortunate? In error? Untimely, Sectorval. Return to your meditation. Tobal, we have just received a message from Delenn. She would like a report on our progress here. She's asked for me to come and to bring one other along. And you have chosen me. I'm honored. It's good to know that at my advanced age, there is still respect for wisdom and perception. Everyone else was busy. <laughs> you are a source of constant annoyance to me, Tobal but only because you're right more often than you're wrong. And why should I keep this joy to myself? I choose to share you with the universe. Valen, help them all. Tamir, you were supposed to be listening only to your inner voice. I was, Master. My inner voice was smiling. No one has an inner voice that smiles. I do. I'd expect that from the religious caste. All right, Tuval, choose your escorts. Meet me at the landing platform. We leave for Babylon 5 in one hour. Yes, Your Honor. You and you come with me. Since you seem incapable of meditating in silence, going somewhere else might be a good idea. Babylon 5, the home of peace. You're behind on payments, Lex. Look at you. You insult me. Now I have to make sure everybody understands that you don't keep Trace waiting for his money. Do it. Leave the body where they'll find it. I want everyone to know there's a new power in town. Because from now on, Babylon 5 belongs to me. And anyone that doesn't understand it is going to get exactly the same.